Hello, I'm in distress. Caused by post on the Star Citizen forum by Huckabee, the CGI community manager, about manually switching flight modes. In particular, that there will be no manual switching on the Science Scout and the Reliant, or at least not at first, or, or at release, or in the first iteration, but they might think about it later. It's not clear from the wording, but it certainly isn't very committing. And, well, I believe that's a shame. In the original pitch, the thrust of the ships was supposed to be based on the real, like in-game real, physical placement of the thrusters, and knowing that and seeing the concept chips, you would imagine great possibilities, given a flight model that, that's as high fidelity as the rest of Robert's endeavor strives to be. I, I wasn't aware that there were fixed flight modes for the variable geometry ships with moving main thrusters. Obviously, there have to be presets, but I kind of assumed that you could move the thrusters and joints independently and manually by assigning them to a key or an analog input on a joystick. Because why wouldn't you if you got the tech under the hood, right? So I really, really hope I didn't just imagine that and the moving parts on some of the ships are nothing but a gimmick and animation. To demonstrate why, why uh, it would be great to, to have them move manually, I built myself a concept reliant out of duct tape. Um, if you want to build one, all you need is KSB, Kerbal Space Program, and the Infernal Robotics mod. It provides the rotational joints. Mine is very flimsy, the wings are flopping all about, but with 40 minutes from starting to build to finishing the video, I couldn't do much better. Also, I'm using a keyboard here. I'm sure things would look much smoother with a joystick. And, well, a physically based Reliant with manual flight modes is as great as I'd imagined. Flying and especially vertical landings are as fun as they are challenging, and there are many gameplay implications from the design. The cargo hold, um, for example, the cargo hold isn't located in the center um, of lift, so if you got no cargo, your plane will pitch forward. With a full load of cargo, your plane will pitch backwards. Every takeoff from, from a planet would be an adventure, <laughs> especially when planets have different gravity and weather. No takeoff will be like the next. And uh, for those of us who are more combat oriented and don't aren't content with just ferrying space goods from A to B, it's 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 gonna be even greater because um, those people could use and abuse the movable thrusters to pull off crazy maneuvers, especially in an atmosphere where the main thrusters can overpower the forces generated by the flight surface, uh, so as and allow for superior maneuverability uh, compared to fixed engine fighters. So the reliant really has great potential, potential for funny maneuvers and fun gameplay in many roles, and it would be a great, great shame to waste such a great concept. CGI, please. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.